Hi guys, in this video I'm going to give you a little introduction to each planner that I have used so far and give you the pros and cons so that you will decide which planner is the best for you. With a bullet journal you have complete freedom. You decide what pages are inside and you create them. The notebook you'll make your bullet journal in is also completely up to you. So, the pros of a bullet journal is that it's completely customizable. You get to create it yourself and you won't get bored of the setup inside. Also, you can start it whenever you want to because you create the pages inside. It can start from the middle of the year but also at the very end of the year. The cons of having a bullet journal is that it could take a lot of time to make your setup and you not always end up liking it. Also, you don't have the whole year finished, so if you want to write something in a particular week, you don't always have the ability to. The basic planner is a good idea for people that don't have time or don't feel like customizing every single page. You can get a pretty planner with stickers and various pages inside or a plain one day one page planner. Especially now with all the planner hype going around, companies give more varieties to the mix which makes it even more exciting to pick out your own planner. The pros of a basic planner is that you can buy a pretty planner that's completely ready to use or a planner that you just can put a little bit of heart into. Also, you don't need the time to set it up and you have the whole year ready. The cons of a basic planner is that it doesn't meet all of your needs. Sometimes you just don't find the right setup or one setup is missing. Also, you might get bored with it since the setups are the same every single page. A binder planner is a compromise between a basic planner and a bullet journal. You get all of your layouts, but you can add whatever you want during the year or during the week, whenever you feel like it. There's a ton of pages and printables that you can use. Pros of a binder planner is that you don't have to create the layouts, but you can if you want to. It's completely customizable. Also, you can get out the pages if you don't need them anymore or you've just used them. The cons of a binder planner is that the pages might rip out. Also, it's the most expensive so far, and it's not very comfortable to write or to carry around. A to-do list is a place where you write the tasks that you need to do. You can write it anywhere, from your phone to your laptop or just a normal notebook. A special to-do list or a blank piece of paper. It's really up to you, and the best part is that you don't even have to buy anything. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen. The pros of a to-do list is that it's easy and fast and you don't have to fill it in every single day, which means no blank pages, as you might have in your other planners. The cons of having a to-do list as your planner is that it's hard to include events and hard to track days. So guys, this is the end of this video. I hope that you liked it, and I know that I have not discussed a couple of planners, but I just didn't use them, so I didn't feel like actually saying the pros and cons, and, you know. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and if you've seen my previous videos, this video was to satisfy my stationary geek personality. <laughs> okay, bye guys!